I'm Jackie Waters. I work for TD Industrial Coverings. We make protective covers for robots in all sorts of industries, uh, mostly automotive paint lines. We just purchased the Formac 508 FS machine um, to create some plastic shields to cover certain parts of our robots that need a little bit more protection. We purchased the Fortis 380 MC a while back and we are able to actually create our molds for our vacuum forming through our 3D modeling. With the 3D printing we can do specific designs. Uh, text is the most important for us right now just to make it look a little bit more professional uh, and identify what the product is if we have multiple products that look very similar. This will identify where it needs to go, what product it is. This is an LDPE. Uh, we use this plastic because it is a little bit more flexible, a little bit more pliable for the application we need it for. Uh, we also need to put snaps in our covers, so it's a little bit easier to snap through this plastic. Uh, we were having some issues with webbing because the mold is a little bit more difficult, but with Formex help we've been getting some solutions as to how get, to get rid of that webbing. We end up trimming it at the top and the bottom, um, and then there, where the slit is that we cut it off, um, we have a snap line so that it's easy to put the cover on and off the VersaBell, which is the end of the robot where the paint comes out. Um, so the snaps go just like that. Um, it's another reason why we went with the LDPE because it's a little bit more flexible, um, easier to get on and off that curved edge of the VersaBell. But the nice thing about what we've been testing is the thickness is relatively um, better than what we've had before. So we're excited about that aspect of it. We're noticing a more even thickness all around the product. When we purchased the machine, uh, I asked about training and Nick was nice enough to let me know that there was gonna be some training downtown Detroit at the College for Creative Studies. And they allowed me to come down there and get a little bit more hands-on training, uh, see the materials, see the machine, uh, get a little bit better idea of how things run and what tools and materials to use for vacuum forming.